Hey guys, this is Erin Stelter, and this is my week two video discussion for COM4513. And um, my question and commentary come from Globalization and American Popular Culture by Lane Crothers. And um, so, just to begin, I thought this section um, that starts on page 44 called American Stories was interesting, where he goes into talking about these categories that... Um, he uh, of stereotypes that are kind of how American um, pop culture has depicted itself over the years and um, <clears throat> so and then that's how the rest of the world um, kind of sees us based on these stereotypes um, such as things like happy endings how most of our stories have happy endings and um, things like that but um so, and for the most part, I think, you know, a lot of what he says has merit. But when I got to the section about gendered popular culture, it, um, I kind of questioned some of his, uh, theories. He talks about how, um, women in pop culture have, um, been broken down into four stereotypes, sorry, uh, woman is sex object, woman is victim, traditional wife and mother, and the strong woman, which he breaks out down into two categories, being um, a woman who balances her family and career, or a victimized woman who throws off her oppressors. And um, I guess over the years, we know that like maybe women in television and movies and that sort of thing have been stereotyped more than they are now, I think. Um, we're definitely seeing a much wider range and a more realistic portrayal of women uh, as the years go by. But then when he gets to talking about males, I think he, he's even more narrow in his scope. He says men are either portrayed as strong and assertive or wimpy and effeminate. And um, I, just, I think that's wrong. <laughs> I think men have been portrayed in just, like a much wider range um, and maybe still stereotyped, but, you know, we've seen characters like, um, you know, like a Sherlock Holmes character who they're, um, you know, they're smart and they're, you know, some portray him as strong and some don't. Um, I don't know that I'd say he was portrayed as effeminate. Um, but just in his own example, when he's talking about um, how gay men are portrayed, um, he says that they're usually portrayed as effeminate, and he gives the example of Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, but just right there, in both of the iterations of that show, they um, give a wide range of uh, personalities of men who are gay. And, um, you know, some are effeminate, but many of them are not. And um, so anyway, I think he gets a little bit narrow there. So my question is, um, how did you guys feel about this? Do you agree with this? Do you disagree with this? Um, specifically about the men's roles, do you think that uh, men are portrayed in pop culture as either strong and assertive or wimpy and effeminate? And if not, um, do you have some examples of some other ways that men are portrayed in pop culture? So thanks, look forward to y'all's videos as always, and I hope everyone's having a great week. Thanks, bye.